Heart failure patients are at higher risk of VT and VF, and that's associated with worse outcomes. Some studies have suggested proarrhythmic effects from CRT. Others have suggested antiarrhythmic effects. So which is it? That's the question that I have for our guest, Valentina Kutifa, who is of the University of Rochester Medical Center, and you're first author of a paper coming in the April 2013 issue of JAK Imaging, and it's called Dyssynchrony and the Risk of Ventricular Arrhythmias. First, keep us on the same page, dyssynchrony. What is it? Yes. Thank you for the opportunity to present my uh, data on this exciting study. And well, left ventricular dyssynchrony is actually means that the heart uh, the contraction of the heart is not coordinated very well. So, in other words, the segments of the left ventricle do not contract at the same time, and therefore a dyssynchronous left ventricular contraction pattern is seen, which is then associated with a poor left ventricular function and the um, clinical symptoms of heart failure in this patient population. So, Dr. Kativa, in this particular case, you're taking um, the made at CRT data, correct? And that's what was the basis of this analysis? Exactly. So the MEDIT-CRT trial enrolled uh, patients with mild heart failure, so those who had a New York Heart Functional Class 1 or 2, uh, mild symptoms of heart failure, and they were implanted with a special cardiac resynchronization therapy with implanted defibrillator, and the effects of this device were then compared to uh, implanted defibrillator devices. And the major finding of the study was that in mild heart failure patients, the CRTD device uh, very efficiently reduced uh, the risk of heart failure or death and improved clinical symptoms and uh, echocardiographic response in this patient population. So will it help if, if dyssynchrony is assisted by CRT, that patient will probably do better than if the dyssynchrony continues? Well, in fact, previous studies have shown that the implantation of a CRTD device is associated with a significant reduction in left ventricular dyssynchrony, and this may be the bottom mechanism of the favorable findings in the trial. In my analysis, uh, we also evaluated the effects of uh, left ventricular dyssynchrony and the changes of left ventricular dyssynchrony on ventricular arrhythmias, which is a really a novel topic um, um, with regard of this analysis. So what are you going to do next? I mean, where does, where does this take us? Well, actually, in this particular study, we have found that those patients who uh, decreased the degree of left ventricular dyssynchrony at one year after implantation of a CRTD device, they had a significantly lower risk of ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. And this is very important, and it may apply that in cardiac resynchronization therapy patients, the reduction of uh, left ventricular dyssynchrony uh, in other words, a um, mechanical effect is then translated into an electrical effect and then uh, a reduction of ventricular arrhythmias. So we believe this is an important link uh, between mechanical and electrical uh, feedback in the heart and we plan to um, have further studies to further evaluate how these effects work and what may be um, the consequences of these findings. So what's the take-home message for clinicians? So we believe that those patients who are implanted with a cardiac resynchronization therapy device and uh, during the follow-up um, they have a reduction in left ventricular dyssynchrony, that is a good sign. But those patients who uh, do have left ventricular dyssynchrony even after the implantation of this device, exactly, they have a higher risk of ventricular arrhythmias and therefore they may be monitored more closely and even the medical treatment may be refined to avoid this outcome. Anything that helps sort patients by risk is of value. Exactly. And particularly in this difficult population. In uh, Jack Imaging, coming up in the April issue, please look for this paper and please look to CardioSource World News for a variety of summaries from all different Jack journals. And for Cardio uh, Source and Cardiac World News, I'm Rick McGuire.